Hi, Phil. Where have you been all morning? Dave thought you'd bring us back to the airport. Yeah, we saw our brand new airplane, too. You'll have to tell me all about it. What did you see? We saw a Capital Airlines blackout. Boy, you should hear from which one in for a landing. <coughs> Skip and I got a book all about it, see? Mr. Grant says it's a whole new kind of airplane. Gosh, it even sounds stupid. Sure, I know the Viscount. Your mother and I flew on one last summer when we were in Europe. In fact, the nicest flight we had on our whole trip was the one we had on the Viscount. What makes it so different, Dad? Well, son, that's sort of a long story, but if you're really interested, I'll try and explain it to you. The four engines on the Viscount are something very special. When you're inside, you can hardly hear them, and there's no vibration at all. What's vibration? When anything moves or shakes, it's vibrating. For example, if I, if I take this hammer and hit the boat, you can feel it where you're sitting. Well, that's because the boards in the deck are vibrating. Now, most motors and engines on automobiles and airplanes have vibration because they have a lot of reciprocating parts, pistons that go up and down. Remember? I showed you that at the garage the other day. Well, that's the kind of motion that makes vibration and noise, too. The Viscount doesn't have pistons, but has rotary action engines made up of wheels that turn, and that eliminates the vibration and cuts down on the noise. So if you're a passenger, you get a nice quiet ride, and at the end of a flight, you feel much better. Here's the book that tells about Capital Vikings. Would you explain it to us? Sure. See, Capital calls it a new concept in flight. For the first time in history, Air travel becomes something more than a race against time. Yes, you're looking at the world's first propeller turbine airliner. The Vickers Viscount, powered by four sleek Rolls-Royce turboprop engines. Rolls-Royce has made fine automobiles, masterpieces known the world over for their custom construction, precision, and quality. For 40 years, Rolls-Royce Aero Engines have helped to write Air Age history. The propeller turbine or turboprop engine is their latest engineering achievement. The engine has a minimum of moving parts, which results in a smooth, steady flow of power. Air is drawn into the engine and directed through a two-stage compressor. The compressed air is then forced to combustion chambers where it is mixed with low volatile kerosene and burned. The tremendous energy created drives a two-stage turbine. The power is transmitted by a shaft to drive the engine compressor and then through a high ratio reduction gear to drive the propeller. The air traveler benefits not only from the swiftness these dual-like engines provide, but even more important, he enjoys a quieter, more comfortable flight. The magic of the name Rolls-Royce has become synonymous with class and quality, and its aviation engine division has become the accepted world leader in the design and production of gas turbine engines. To visit the aviation plant is to see the very latest in precision tools. To watch engineers and craftsmen that are proud of the hallmark their company has so justly earned. manufactures from the simplest to the most complex components for each engine. The Rolls-Royce aviation engine plant is one of five large factories. The company employs over 35,000 designers, engineers and craftsmen.
most impressive things is the standard of inspection. Not a button or a bolt is allowed to pass unless it is precisely correct, virtually without tolerance. The propeller turbine engine is made with almost incredible care, on the finest machines, with the personal attention of experts. creative step is closely examined to ensure perfection. fundamental post-war belief that the gas turbine engine was the power plant of the future. Almost 10 years ago, the first propeller turbine engine was completed and exhaustive tests were underway to refine it for commercial airline use. Count flew in 1948 and actually operated on airline schedules in 1950. satisfying thing to know that when final assembly is reached, the finest parts that men and machines can fashion have been wedded for the future service of you and I, the air travelers of the future. engines were developed after years of research and experimentation. They come to capital with over 100 million passenger hours of safe operation. As each capital Viscount turboprop engine is completed and tested in action, it exemplifies the Rolls-Royce motto, whatever is rightly done, however humble, is noble. But the ideal passenger airplane must also have close coordination between the manufacturer of the engine and the airframe. Rolls-Royce and Vickers Armstrongs 
have been working together since 1916. And as a team, they have designed and built some of the world's most famous airplanes. first aircraft to fly the Atlantic, piloted by Cockrell and Brown in 1919. The Schneider Trophy plane that established the world's speed record of 407.5 miles per hour in 1931. Remarkable when you consider the date. And everybody will recognize the most distinguished fighter plane of the last world war, the Spitfire. As in the past, the team is working together on military projects like the massive four-engine jet bomber, the Valiant. And the most modern of all commercial planes, the Capital Viscount. Armstrongs and the Rolls-Royce design team went to work on the Viscount, they created an airframe and a turbine engine that suited each other perfectly. An airplane that would pamper passengers with swift, smooth, silent, and sure flight. To satisfy a growing passenger preference, Vickers Armstrong's gigantic factories are turning out more and more Viscounts. sprayed with a plastic covering to protect its clean lines until first flight. As each new plane gets its engines, wings and wheels, technicians move in to complete the many final assembly details of wiring and cabling. After months of precision construction, each capital Viscount gets its colors. before its maiden flight. Exhaustive ground tests are run. Engines are checked and rechecked. Instruments are proven. Capital fleet. Each plane must fly on three engines, two engines, and even on one engine. The result of all this ingenious design, careful construction, and painstaking inspection is a new and unique flight for you, the passenger.
the loft, you will climb between 1,500 and 3,000 feet a minute. And yet you won't feel this rapid change because of perfect air conditioning and pressurization. In a matter of minutes, you'll be above the weather in the highest blue. Inside, you will relax because the vibration and noise of previous flight is turbine hushed. The Viscount will get you to your destination in the shortest possible time, whether your journey is 200 or 1200 miles. Through the largest panoramic window on any airplane, the world is yours to see. For the first time, even passengers in aisle seats have an unobstructed view. no table on the back of each seat that quickly and easily slides into a level position. A table to rest your book or beverage, to hold your food tray for a more enjoyable meal. The luxury of the capital Viscount is a quiet elegance, once known, never forgotten. Passengers around the globe have come to recognize the advantages of the Viscount. Tourists to England are as impressed with it as they are with London's Big Ben. is a familiar sight at Orly Field in Paris, familiar as the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower. of Athens, the beauty of Rome, are hours closer thanks to regular Viscount service. Around the world, Australia, Africa, India, South America, Canada, and now, 
the Viscount, a global favorite, brings swift, smooth, silent, and sure flight to the greatest industrial centers of the United States. Yes, it's a new standard of service, the Capital Airlines Viscount, accommodating millions of travelers from the Atlantic to the West, from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. You know, you've been riding the cockpit of airplanes as long as I have. The real thrill to see a plane like the Viscount come along. It's tops with the pilots. The four propeller turbine engines get it off the ground quickly, it climbs beautifully, handles easily. Landings are a real pleasure. And above all, it has plenty of reserve power. And of course, up front, you'll find all the latest radio and navigational equipment. Now, I've been talking a good deal about the plane's passenger comforts. Well, believe me, you'll find those same advantages in pilot comfort. You see, after long flights, pilots are less tired thanks to the lack of vibration and noise. It's a wonderful plane to maintain. Why, you can change an engine in just 30 minutes. As a matter of fact, the plane is built so that you can perform routine maintenance checks right on the ground without having to use ladders or stands. Why, you even fuel the plane on the ground, no more wing climbing. And of course, this all adds up to fast, efficient ground handling, which in turn means more dependable on-time passenger service. The Viscount is another milestone in aviation history a brilliant history of progress and public service. Capital Airlines is proud of over a quarter of a century of serving air-minded America. And we're extremely proud to be the first carrier in the United States to introduce the Viscount with its four engines. Truly a new concept in flight.